According to history, a wandering tribe of nomads arrived at Chapultepec around the year 1248. This vicious culture was barely able to survive by feeding on snakes and vermin, and they were driven around the Mexican Valley by other tribes in the area. In 1325, however, they stopped their migratory patterns when they came upon Lake Texcoco to build one of the greatest empires the world had ever seen. These people were the Aztecs. Seeing the sacred symbol of an eagle perched on a cactus eating a snake, the Aztecs knew this was the location of their homeland. This was the sign that Huitzilopochtli, the god of sun and war, would show to his chosen people. Today, the lake is drained, but at the same time of the Aztecs, Lake Texcoco was enormous. On a swampy island in the middle of Lake Texcoco, the Aztecs overcame many architectural obstacles and built one of the largest cities in the world. The capital city, Tenochtitlan, was built with orthogonal city planning. The city was laid out in a grid pattern divided by canals and with rectangular plots of land and houses between. Four main zones, or kampan, were each divided into 20 districts. As the Aztec Empire came to dominate other tribes around Mexico, Tenochtitlan covered an estimated 5 square miles. The city was connected to the mainland by three main causeways, leading north, west, and south of the city. These causeways were interrupted by openings that allowed canoes and other traffic to pass freely, and removable bridges that also served a defensive purpose. For construction, the Aztecs did not use beast of burden or pulling carts. Although the wheel was known to the Aztecs, they failed to use it in conceptual design. The insufficient technology of the region in that time period called for sheer manpower. Materials for building were brought from the mainland using the strength of peasants and slaves. The Aztecs utilized the environment of the lake as much as possible. Using the dirt and water, they created adobe houses. They also created chinampas. Chinampas were artificial islands made of piles of lake bed mud and plants the Aztecs created around their city. On the chinampas, farmers grew corn, beans, squash, other vegetables, and flowers. The Aztecs had no contact with European cultures before the 15th century. Great architectural minds such as Tezozomic and Chimalpopoca devised new architectural innovations such as the aqueduct. Even though this invention is credited to the Romans, the Aztec aqueducts were the first in the New World. Two double aqueducts, each more than four kilometers long, made of terracotta, provided Tenochtitlan with fresh water from the springs at Chapultepec. One of the greatest factors affecting the architecture was the religion of the Aztec culture. The Aztecs believed that if they did not please the supernatural beings above, the sun would not rise. To keep in favor of the gods, the Aztecs offered up the greatest sacrifice, human blood. The Aztecs sacrificed approximately 20,000 people a year in order to please the sun god. These offerings took place on sacrificial temples that the Aztecs built. These temples were pyramids that looked identical to the Egyptian pyramids, except for the fact that they had a flat top where the sacrifices could be held. The construction of a new temple would not take place on an empty slot. If the new temple was constructed in the place of an older temple, the older temple was not destroyed. Rather, the new temple was built over the other one. The builders would add extravagant new layers to the old temple. Along with the temples, the Aztec built similar shrines wholly devoted to their gods. In Tenochtitlan, perhaps the most famous structure is the Twin Stair Pyramid, the Temple Mayor. This pyramid had two staircases and summit temples, each dedicated to a separate god. As the Aztecs dominated tribes in Mexico as far as Guatemala, they also built shrines, temples, and pyramids across their vast empire. Generally, the Aztec cities had a multi-leveled, semi-democratic system of government. Formed in 1428, the Aztec Empire had immense emphasis on territorial expansion. Aztecs forced conquered peoples to pay tributes and taxes. Areas within the empire were organized as city-states, each ruled by a king from a dynasty. In Tenochtitlan, the wisest and most powerful leaders of each family constituted a city council. These leaders in turn selected four main members. One was selected to be the Tlatuani, or leader of the city. 
The ruler was named the Great Speaker, and served as the empire's main administrative, military, and religious leader. The second person in charge was a person named Woman Snake, who was actually a male. He was also the person who controlled the law and order. Over time, a belief formed that Tlatuani was a descendant of the gods. The emperor's power was supreme. In 1431, Tenochtitlan allied with Texcoco and Tlacopan to create the Aztec Triple Alliance, which called for the division of any spoils of war into five parts, two parts of which would go to Tenochtitlan, two parts to Texcoco, and one part to Tlacopan. The Triple Alliance would dominate the Valley of Mexico for the next hundred years. However, Hernan Cortes and the Spaniards landed on, landed on the Gulf Coast in the spring of 1519. Cortes allied himself with the Aztec's enemy, the Confederacy of Tlaxcala, and battled Tenochtitlan on June 1520. The Spaniards fled the town on July 1st, but returned with native allies in the spring of 1521. They laid siege to Tenochtitlan, a battle that ended on August 13th with the destruction of the city. The powerful civilization of the Aztecs left a legacy that had considerable impact on Middle American culture today. Most modern Mexicans are of mixed European and indigenous ancestry, descendants of the Mexicas or of the indigenous people of the Aztec Empire and Mesoamerica. Nahuatl, an, an ancient Aztec language, is spoken by many elders living in the mountainous areas in the states surrounding Mexico City. After Lake Texcoco was drained, Mexico City was built on the ruins of Tenochtitlan. Nahuatl has also assimilated into the local dialects of the Spanish language spoken by the entire Mexican population. Part of this language has even been adopted into American English. Agricultural products contributed by the Aztecs continue to have considerable influence in popular American and Mexican cuisine. The Aztec migration legend can also be seen in the modern Mexican flag, bearing the emblem of the eagle on the cactus.